Welcome to Back to the Bible. Today's topic, your part in the Christmas story. Your journey to Bethlehem has been like a drama in which you have witnessed the most important event of history, the birth of the baby who was God himself. You have glimpsed people who have played their parts in this drama. The wise men, the shepherds, Mary, Joseph, and others you have even peeked behind the scenes and observed characters from ages past the lights have dimmed now but the curtain has not fallen the play is not over another character must yet make an appearance on the stage you for you are a part of the christmas story too it was for you that this event took place take your cue Walk up the steps of this imaginary stage. Approach the manger. Look at the baby. What are you going to do about him? Heaven and earth await your answer. You have no script, no prompter. What you say now must come from your heart. Will you acknowledge him as the promised Messiah, as your own savior? Will you tell him of your own unworthiness and worship him? Or will you simply look at him then turn your back and retreat into the dark and empty theater of your life the following words are taken from cradled in a manger meanly by george s rowe blessed savior christ most holy in a manger thou didst rest canst thou stoop again yet lower and abide within my breast enter then o christ most holy Make a Christmas in my heart. Make a heaven of my manger. It is heaven where thou art. Verse for today. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. John chapter 3 verse 18. Your step for today. The last two paragraphs of this devotional show the two choices you have in deciding what to do with Jesus Christ. Write down which choice you have made. Prayer for today. If you made the first choice, confessing your own unworthiness and accepting him as your savior, thank him for your salvation. If you made the second choice, turning your back on him, Ask for forgiveness and commit yourself to the first choice. God bless you.